Hey guys, today I want to do a quick review on um, one of the uh, True Virtue line of wallets. This uh, model is called the Oyster Wallet. Uh, I got this in the glossy black finish. Uh, finishes are also available in, uh, I believe, a brown color and also orange. Um, so to start out, I've had this for about, what's almost a year now. Uh, it's been used on and off, so total use has probably been about, what, five months of sitting in my pocket. Uh, and you'll see that the finish is starting to wear. Uh, I've dropped it a few times. Uh, the biggest dent I got on it was dropping it on concrete right there. You can see a slightly flattened edge, but it's stood up pretty well uh, to the abuse that, you know, I give my sort of wallets. I mean, my other one, I've had this for about two years now. You can see absolutely all of it's fading, it's falling apart, and yeah. So, this guy right here. Um, so this is the Oyster Wallet. Why is it called an Oyster Wallet? It's because it opens like an oyster. Uh, so if you open the one side, you have your uh, little uh, money clip, so you can store your bills. Uh, it will store about four $20 bills, uh, or uh, roughly four notes, uh, and I found the best way to carry them is uh, instead of having them rolled over, uh, you just fold them in half and fold them in half again. So 5,000 in note, fold it over once, fold it over twice, and they'll just slot perfectly under, uh, and this will close, snap close like that. Uh, and then another cool thing is behind there, you have this change. Uh, this little change compartment right here, uh, which I absolutely love. I absolutely love going to the counter, flashing this thing out, and just going, whoosh, all my change is there. You know, it just saves time fumbling around in pockets and stuff. It's <laughs> it's enjoyable, really. Uh, it's fun. It's really fun. Uh, and if you uh, press the other button, see how it says cash and cards there? So cash, press for this one. Cards, press for this one. Um, and in this side, you can store all your credit cards and stuff. Um, I took my credit cards out of here for this video because obviously I don't want to be flashing those on YouTube. Uh, but I've got a couple like random cards and IDs. So I got medical cards, you know, points cards, driver's license, whatever. Uh, shout out to American Eagle Outfitters. Um, and I think a total will store about eight cards. Uh, but if you have the ones with the actual uh, number indentations on them, uh, like a credit card, uh, where you can actually feel the numbers, um, I believe it can only hold about four or five. Uh, so yeah, um, I mean, these things cost, uh, I think around, I purchased mine for 25 pounds in the UK. Uh, so if you take a look here, uh, this is a site called Heine Haynes. Um, this is where I purchased mine. Uh, so again, 25, so it's about $37 equivalent or about um, uh, almost 5,000 yen. Um, and again, it's available in the black or the orange or the slightly brown finish. Um, my complaints about this, though, is I'd like to be able to store more notes in here, because when you have sort of small denominations, if you have a load of $1 bills, $5 bills stacked up in here, you can only fit about 5-ish, uh, which, you know, if you get change from, uh, you know, 50 or 100, it's not really enough, uh, to be honest. Uh, so if they could raise this by about 1 or 2 millimeters, just can fill those couple extra notes in, that would be really nice. Uh, another small thing I would like, I would love it if in the back they had a little strap here, just so you could put a couple random little... Um, just a couple small items. So if there was a small little Velcro pocket right here, I would love that. Uh, so not only can you carry all these things in here, you could throw a couple of sticks of gum, you could throw uh, just anything you need on a daily basis, aside from your cash and cards. Uh, and that would really free up a lot of room in the pockets. Um, but yeah, aside from that, I mean, it's held up extremely well. Uh, I've got no major complaints with it at all. Uh, aside from uh, maybe the finish could be a little bit more firm. Maybe put a protective layer on there just so it won't scratch off. Because, uh, you know, this wasn't from dropping it, this was just from uh, regular use. Um, I mean, I can understand this bit. I dropped this, uh, I think, down a flight of stairs onto a concrete floor. So, it's expected. But yeah, I really like this thing. I'd really recommend buying one if you're looking for a wallet. And the thing this does is uh, protect you from uh, RFID uh, scanning. So basically, if someone's got a scanner and trying to get your credit card info, uh, the aluminum layer in here will actually block that coming out. That's another complaint. Change sometimes falls out of there. But yeah, um, you can see the amount of use I've had on it by the coins actually hitting against there started to make sort of indentations in the plastic. Um, apart from that, I'm the true virtual oyster wall. It's it's a good piece of gear. I really like it. Uh, if you want, got any more questions or you want, you know, more videos on this or anything else for that matter, please just message me. So thank you.